There we go. Good. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. Right, that's me back with you. And uh, I just did a little bit of sharing. But I think the only problem is when we do a little bit of sharing, then it uh, it freezes for a second or two. But we'll see how we get on. There's Steve back with us. Excellent to have you with us, Steve. Fantastic stuff. Now, Steve, uh, if you could tell me what actually happens there when we do the sharing. I think that's very, very important. Let me just have a quick look here and see if I can see what happens. All right, so you should be following me if you're on here. Fantastic stuff. Do follow me and uh, welcome to our live this good Friday morning. Wonderful stuff. Come and join us and give us all your chit chat. Wonderful. There's Mel joining us. The screen went black, says Steve. Aha. And am I back with you now, Steve, in glorious Technicolor? There we go. That's what we like about it. Good morning, Scotty. How are you today? Says Ryan. Dinky do, Ryan. Lovely to be with you. And a very, very warm welcome to our morning pop up live here on TikTok. Notification came up fine, Scotty. Good morning. Ah, Robert Scrimger. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, everybody. What are your pronouns, Regan? You never, ever, ever ask anybody pronouns on here. We're all inclusive. You're looking radiant, sir. Stephen, you say the loveliest things. Welcome back, Scotty. James, I'm very glad we're here. Can you all follow me, please? Very, very important. We get thousands and thousands of viewers, but only a handful of followers. Although I've done quite a few late night pop-ups. So get yourself on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. If you click the Instagram sign beside my profile you'll see a link to the youtube channel please go on and subscribe everybody following please very very important that we follow because as i say thousands and thousands of viewers why are we only getting a few hundred followers i think the followers are sitting at uh, how many are following us now about six thousand are following us. Please follow me as soon as you come and join us. Excellent stuff. So there we are. A very warm welcome to you. 1,200 videos on YouTube. A great day in for all the family. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Uh, what pronouns? Not asking. I just don't get. No, Scott, it's a thing that people, a lot of these people watch junk on the internet and the chat seems to be what are your pronouns? Now, we don't bother with that on here because we're all inclusive. So nobody needs to, uh, you know, be getting the third degree. Nobody needs to be asked that because it's nobody's business. So there we are. And uh, no, Mia, um, are you still working there yourself? There we are. It's like he, she, he, she, they, them, all that sort of stuff. Well, you see, we don't need any of that on here because... We're inclusive. Yes. Hello there. Spreading love and positivity in the world. Have a wonderful day. Harvey, you've come to the right place for love and, and positivity. That's what we do. Good Friday. A warm welcome to you all. Come and join Scotty McClue and we are live. Uh, are we supposed to eat fish on Good Friday? Every Friday, Jay. Yes, if you're Christian. Would you rather drive Green Grass's truck or the black Ford Anglia police car? I think we like it. We decided the other night it was a Morris commercial. I thought it might have been a Bedford flat bed. So there we are, but it's a Morris commercial. Does it have the little windows at your feet? That's what I need to check. I need to check. Favorite color says FIFA. The whole rainbow FIFA. Scotty McClure is very, very big. Your accent is warming, says Caleb. Caleb, I thank you. I don't know if it's an accent or just the way I speak. <laughs> yeah, I think it might just be the way I speak, to be honest with you. But lovely to have you with us. And a very good dinky-doo morning. There we are. Now, uh, everybody's joining us, as he's joined us. 
us. Welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. And we are, of course, live on TikTok. Nothing gets past me. I have my trusty water here. Kibreks, I think what we'll do with you is dump you because you're a dirty, filthy wee midden and there's no place for you in Scotty McClure's TikTok. There's Kibreks gone. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. And he's got nobody following him anyway. I don't know what he's even doing. Wasting his time. Hello, tea or coffee? Haven't had coffee, Caleb, for uh, 40 years. So there we are. Do you think Alex Simon's new Alba party will split the Nationalist vote? No, I don't think so, James. I think uh, the Nationalist vote will be the Nationalist vote. So whichever party it goes to, it's a Nationalist vote. Do you see what I mean? I've told him, Forza, he's gone. Follow me as soon as you come on, guys. Remember, if you're a wee troll or a dirty, filthy midden, you'll just get a lifetime ban. This is a real bit of quality. Quality streaming, I say. Coffee isn't my cup of tea either. No. And now there are coffee mornings. I always get invited to coffee mornings, um, you know, post-COVID, pre-COVID. And I say, no, it's not my cup of tea. The SNP are dead on their feet, Kotskin. I think you're deluded. Yes, I think you've lost the plot. There's somebody asking pronouns, Grace. We never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. It's nobody else's business. You're funny, mate. So are you, Fosa. Dinky do so sass. Sass, lovely to have you with us. Scotty McLean live. Excellent stuff. Have you ever been in the telly or the wireless? Yes, but only for 36 years. So there we are. Uh, so I've still got lots to do, though, on the telly and the wireless. Wonderful. Uh, wireless for 30 years, telly for 36 years. Imagine if you were guessing the different whiskies in the Edensfield Arms. I wouldn't have to, Charlie. I would know them, and I would be able to identify them to the landlord. I could turn my back, get him to pour me a whiskey, and I would tell him what it was. You'll see, very, very good. What have you done on TV? Read the news on ITV? Uh, for years. If Nicola didn't tell, oh no, I don't think Nicola does Godskin. I think that's what you're missing. You know, if you want to see somebody who's misconstruing the truth, have a wee look. <laughs> Father South, uh, you were the best news reader, Steve James. I thank you. Here is the news. Good morning. <laughs> Leads are the best. Leads, yes, well, I think if you're a salesperson, they would agree with you. There we are, everybody following, dinky do. Follow Scotty McClure as soon as you come on, guys, because this is very, very big. I'll just check if you've followed. I can check now, you see. I've got a followometer here. There we are, fantastic. Yes, very good of you to follow me. You could ask George in the Edensfield Arms. Edensfield, please. PC Ventress speaking. What are you doing right now? What are your goals in TV for the future? I think I may well uh, go down. I could go down one of two routes. I could go down the serious political interviewing route. Hard hitting. Yes. No holds barred. Or I could go down the comedy route. You must advise me. There we are. Or I could just become the next Lord Reith and set up a massive broadcasting organization for Scotland. I was very highly tipped to uh, be the head of the Scottish Broadcasting Service. So there we are. Scottish Broadcasting Corporation. So there we are. How, what about that? Good morning. Good morning, Trixie Bubbles. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to the Top TikTok Talk Show. Wonderful stuff. Scotty McClure with you. Um, Boris is going to make Scotland part of England. Well, he's a little bit late for that, I'm afraid. That ship has sailed. You know, Scotland will be making England a part of Scotland. They should perhaps rebuild the border just north of Watford, and the rest is Scotland. 
So you've got Yorkshire in Scotland, the Midlands in Scotland, the home counties of Scotland, Liverpool, Scotland, Manchester, Scotland, Newcastle, Scotland, it used to be in Scotland actually, Carlisle, Scotland, it used to be in Scotland too. So that's what I think everybody would like to become a Scot. You're still wearing the same clothes from last night? No, no. You've got that very, very wrong. Last night was a wine-coloured jumper. Today is a very, very dark green-coloured jumper. So wrong, wrong, wrongity, wrong. Wrongity, wrongity, wrong. Wrong, wrong. Uh, you need your own docu-series, comedy for sure. You've got that addictive personality. But we could also bring a little bit of lighter levity into serious politics. There we are. That's what he wears. He does wash them. Absolutely, Scott. Everything. The machine's never off. The fantastic stuff. Always something going. I've got one of these green machines, you know, that uh, that saves on everything. But uh, it doesn't really wash your clothes, of course. But I don't think that matters. It saves the environment. Uh, as a mank, that doesn't sound too bad. So you'd have to start talking with a bit of Okai the New in Manchester. Do you know the Torrey Canyon? Oh, I've been down that many a time. Now, the Torrey Canyon was an oil tanker that crashed and caused um, a, a natural dis environmental disaster. I was born in Melrose in the borders. Becca, I don't think you could really have a nicer place to be born. You know, it's pretty beautiful. Melrose Abbey. I have Scottish blood, so I'm in for that. Lou Berry, I think everybody has a bit of Scot in them, a bit of Irish in them, a bit of African from the Rift Valley in East Africa, you know, that sort of thing. So, you know, there's no such thing as an English person. I think poor old England, this is why they get a bit self-conscious, because they are either French or Italian, or German, you know. You had the uh, the Vandals, you know, that sort of lot, the Vandals. Uh, you had the Normans, the Angles, the Saxons, all that from Saxony and Germany. You see, my ancestor is Rob Roy McGregor. Yes, well, I know Lady McGregor very well. I used to work with her. What do you think about quarantine? Well, it depends on what it's for, Eric, and how long you're doing it. What are your pronouns? Sadie, you never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. Tot, tot, tottity, tot. We're all inclusive on here. Nobody has to prove a thing. How fantastic's that? He plays a song, Scotty. I can't squeeze box or pipe organ for Good Friday. I'll maybe play you a couple of Good Friday hymns. Good day, Scotty. Easter greetings to you, Thunder Firefly. Lovely to have you with us and a very big dinky do. I'll see who's following me. Let me check, guys. We need followers. We're very short with plenty of viewers, which is lovely. There we are. So, ah, there we are. Excellent. Can you all follow me, please? Sophia, never ask anybody pronouns. That's very personal. That's like asking, what way do you vote? So there you are. Hello from New Zealand. Hello, New Zealand. Welcome to our wonderful TikTok this morning. You sound like Prince Charles. Perils, that's very nice. So there you are. I'll show you a little picture. This will make you smile. There's Prince Charles, you'll see. And just beside him is Scotty McClue. There. That's McClue, you see, with Prince Charles. Isn't that good? Well, there you are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, what? No, it's not. Yes, it is, Sophia. Never, ever ask anybody pronouns. Shockingly rude. There we are. Yes, absolutely. No, no, on here we are all inclusive. I'm a descendant of the Scottish Martins. Now, are they to do with the Pine Martins? There we are. Have you got a toffee stuck? Where, Pearl? Where are you asking? 
about the toffee. Where does it stuck? So there we are. Now, uh, everybody share the live video, please. Everybody come and join us and tell 10 to tell 10 that we are live. So there we are. Jay, don't be so rude or I'll ban you. What are your pronouns? Silly Rose, never, ever, ever ask anybody about pronouns. So rude. There we are. So thoughtless. There we are. Are your nose blocked? My nose blocked. Ready? Ha! Ah, nose as clear as it could ever be. So there you are. You mustn't assume, Peril, that everybody is the same as yourself. You might have an adenoidal problem. So there we go. Apologies, sir. Not at all, Jay. Uh, good morning, sir. How are you, British Army? I salute you, sir. There we are. Longest way up, shortest way down. How fantastic is that? How's it going, says Taylor. Taylor, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. A happy Good Friday, Scotty. Charlie, that's a lovely thing to say, and to you. Where do you find the energy, Scotty? I never see you tired in a stream, and you stream all the time. Well, Robert, of course, we have a lot to say, and people have a lot to, uh, to learn and a lot to teach. So it's lovely to be sharing TikTok with such brilliant people. There we are. Follow me, please, guys, as soon as you're on. You're cute, says Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. You're very kind. Well, Scotty, there we are. Fantastic. How good is that? It is excellent. There we are. Lincoln, dinky do. Nice to have you with us. Ooh. Now, Lincoln, you need to go and grow up. Just sit and have a think about your life. Think how you're operating at a very, very low level. And that is that really the very best that your mind is capable of? Remember, this is a very, very stylish TikTok watched by everybody throughout the world. So that kind of car car that you've come out with is what you would put on your normal junk. This is top stuff. Either you shouldn't be here or you can do better. Okay, so think about it, Lincoln. Uh, grow up. There's British Army giving you an order. Good for you, sir. Uh, enjoy your weekend, son. You too, son. You have a nice time, Sonny. Um, I'm here from England, says Callum. Welcome, Callum. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty is a living legend. No nonsense from you wee silly trolls. This guy is the OG king of trolls. Any trolls on here, I own them. Big style. Uh, you seem so nice. Best wishes to you. You too, Medinas. Lovely to have you with us. Did you see my video? I mentioned you and I did, Charlie. Very kind of you. I thank you. I'm from Birmingham says Lincoln. Well, that explains a little of it, Lincoln, but it doesn't explain it all. You need to be doing a lot better than that. Have you ever met Billy Connolly? Sadly, I haven't met Billy, but my videos outsold his one year. It was very interesting, the Scotty McClue videos. Dinky-doo from West Lothian. We love West Lothian. What are your pronouns, says he sure? He sure you never ever ask anybody pronouns. That's the very worst thing you can do. It's nobody's business. There we are, fantastic stuff. Tuning in from the north of Ireland. Sean, lovely to have you with us from the north of Ireland. North of Ireland. There we are. Where are you from in England? So there we are. Well, I'm not actually from England, but I am of that. So there we are. It's a beautiful part of the world. Did you like the cars? Love the cars, Charlie. There we are. And well done for getting the one we were talking about. Um, where in Scotland are you from, the Scott? All of it, Scott. I am Scotland the embodiment. There we are. Uh, Silly Rose, never ask about pronouns. We're all inclusive on here. Uh, Robert says, Scotty, did you do your national service in the Argyles? Where did you get the Glengarry from? Robert, that's a big, big story. I can tell you. Love your cap and badge. I thank you. I also have a Scotty McClure badge here, just in case we need it. I'll just check. 
that everything's working here. There we are. Fantastic. And then I can show you the Scotty McClure badge. What about that, guys? Is that not outstanding? There you are. Uh, Scotty, do you know Wally? Um, I may do, user, yes. Uh, where is the late John Smith, says Patch? The late John Smith is buried on the island of Iona amongst all the ancient Scottish kings. I think there's another 28 Scottish kings buried in Iona. John, you see, was actually an Argyll man. My mother taught him. So there you are. She taught him. The rabbit song he used to sing on the plane back to Scotland on a Friday afternoon. Yes, and his daughter now works as a journalist with the BBC. There we are. In fact, I think she's an editor with the BBC. Wow, where do I get one? We'll get you one. They're very, very rare. They're scarcer than hen's teeth. I have one in my hat, and if I, in case that one breaks down, I keep another one at the back, you see, <laughs> just in case one breaks down. I think it's always important to have a spare. Uh, so there we are. No site, I don't, uh, but I do shop there. But are you still working there? Can I get a shout out, please? I mind you on the radio. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Um, I think you have a wee spelling problem, Pearl. There we go. The predictive text has let you down. We'll ignore that. There we are. But watch what you're saying. Fantastic. Aha, classman. Ah, Charlie. We always, yes, you need a spare, you see. You never know. You don't want to be trying to limp home with a broken badge. One of War Two film trivia. What was Richard Burton's code name in Where Eagles Dare? Richard Burton's code name in Where Eagles Dare was Broadsword. Broadsword. Because when he tried to get the radio working when they landed, he called into headquarters in London and their code name was Danny Boy. So that beautiful Burton voice. Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Broadsword calling Danny Boy. So there we are. Will you go back on the radio? Yes, I think. HG code Danny Boy. There you are. I am correct, Jess. Scrolling through random lives, wishing people well. Have a great day. Have a great day. Don't scroll too much. Stay and enjoy yourself. Were you in the military? Well, that's up to you. That's for me to know and you to decide. Brilliant, says Thunderfly. My mate Alex thinks you're fit. That's very nice. Well, she sounds lovely. So there you are. Hello from Falkirk. Uh, there we are. Uh, here's a, Isla says she is coked with goofy teeth. Isla, don't be too hard on yourself. Some people don't mind fizzy drinks and uh, goofy teeth, you know, so just you, just you go with it. What's up, babe? Uh, this is Caitlin. Uh, Favourite war film? Mine is A Bridge Too Far. Yes, General Urquhart. There we are. General Urquhart's daughter uh, is still with us, I think. Here's a chap who says, Up the R.A. That's the Royal Artillery, so he must be a British soldier. There we are. Up the Royal Artillery, I say, the Gunners. There we are. You can't beat the Gunners. Your voice has not changed. Sean, of course not. Why would it, I say? Guys, can you all follow me? Very important. I get thousands and thousands of viewers, and I only get a handful of followers. Uh, and it's 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 not fair, you know. Let's see how many followers we've got. The other night I had 15,000 viewers and a few hundred followers. So there we are. I've got 6,300 followers. Get following and liking, please, and sharing. 
Do you drink milk? I put it on my cereal, on my porridge. There we are. I like you. Thank you very much, son man. Very nice to have you with us. I like all my TikTokers. There we are. Sean the Seahorse. So there we go. He's a member of the Royal Artillery Military Girl. Thoughts on stovies. Is there meat in stovies? Are there sausages in stovies, I ask you? Guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one, TikTok Live. Share and follow me as soon as you come on. Right, let me show you. This is what we need. Follow me. Fantastic. Follow Scotty McClue and tell Tent, tell Tent, tell Tent, tell Tent about the top TikTok talk show. There we are. So I think is the meat on stovies. Everybody following, please. Got it done there. Thanks very much. First live I've ever watched. Glad it's someone as cool as you. How amazing, PNW. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Share it and follow me because this is big. What do you think of the IRA? Well, very much passe now, Sean. You know, and I mean... Um, they've made some very, very, very poor decisions over the past hundred years, you know. Uh, can you not say goofy teeth? It's very offensive. No, you said goofy teeth to me. It's only offensive if you've got goofy teeth. Have you ever heard of crime fighting? There we are. I've heard of lots of things. Uh, follow me, please, guys, as soon as you can. You're so awesome. King Henry VIII, how's your day been, Caitlin? My day is outstanding. Are you transgender? Um, now, I'm not transgender, no. No, absolutely not. So there we are. Sorry to disappoint you, though, but don't ever feel on your own. There are lots of transgender people out there. Uh, bridge over the River Kwai. <laughs> there we are. Fantastic. Alec Guinness. Uh, try and get a hold of Tunes of Glory, set in a Scottish Army regiment after the Second World War. It's got an absolute top cast list, but you don't see it so much these days. It's got Alec Guinness, Sir John Mills, Gordon Jackson, Duncan McRae, you know, all these wonderful actors. What football team do you support? Looney, I support so many football teams. The list is endless. The Royal Artillery, yes, the RA. You're very posh, says Big Jimmy. Not at all, Jimmy. We talked about posh earlier. Port out, starboard home. That's what it means. Can everybody follow me, guys? Follow, 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 follow. So there we are. Uh, fantastic. We need followers. Yes, everybody following. There we are. Now, uh, Elliot, you need to grow up. I won't give you a lifetime ban right now, but you need to grow up and have a serious think that is that the very best with your education that you can come up with. Are you a low life or are you a thoroughly decent person trying to be funny and you failed? Ask yourself these questions and have a good day. We'll leave you just now, but normally be a lifetime ban. Do you like Jaffa Cakes, says Nikita? Nikita, I love Jaffa Cakes. Great scenario. Why do these people keep showing up? I think uh, top people like myself will always show up. Uh, just watch you don't get a showing up. How do you like pickles? I had them yesterday, sweet pickle, on brown bread buttered with a slice of mature cheddar. Stop! There we are. Scotty, do you say scone like bone or scoon like one? or scone or scone, a scone. No, I would say a scone. There we are, I would have a fruit scone or a hot cross bun. Uh, World War II trivia. Please say the name of five D-Day beaches. Oh, for goodness sake, Thunderfly. What do you think I am? You think I can just name D-Day beaches off the top of my head? Gold, Omaha, 
uh, gold Omaha um, what else have we got D-Day beaches right there's two for you for starters uh, you are funny as a Daniel I thank you gold and Omaha so Elliot do we ban you for life or can you do better you should do golf commentary what a voice would you like that there he goes ready to swing a remarkable swing actually number one wood beautiful club whoa about i would have said 300 yards without a shadow of doubt there we are yes absolutely just landing on the green there and um that looks to me like an easy putt <laughs> sending love from canada we love you, Canada. Can you sing three blind mice? I can, but it would be three visually impaired mice. So three visually challenged mice. But also, I don't want a copyright strike, so I shan't. So you tell us a story. Are you related to King Henry VIII? Uncanny resemblance. Apparently, I am royal. You'll see it on my TikTok videos. My family gave the monks of Paisley Abbey in Scotland the land to build the abbey. And I told a historian this, and he said, Scotty, you're royal. I said, Thank you. So, <laughs> how interesting. So, we love Jaffa Cakes. I told you that. The Bod's Eye Man. Hello, hello, hello. There we are. Can you see Dinky Doo? Can you see potatoes? Of course I can. There we are. He's a living legend. Count yourself lucky. You were talking to somebody so famous. Charlie Breslin and I thank you. Lovely to have you with us, guys. Come and join us. Uh, right, everybody share the video and everybody follow, please. Greetings from America. We love America. Whereabouts are you, Zach? There we are. The most Scottish name ever. Absolutely. Follow, 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 please, everybody. What are your pronouns, Gracie? Never, ever, ever, ever ask people pronouns. Wow. Oliver Reed reincarnated. Grandpa, what a lovely thing to say. He was an outstanding actor. So there you are. Ascending love and positivity from Canada. So there we go. Uh, what have we got here? I don't know what that is, actually. Somebody's talking to somebody else. Can you say hi? Yes, we can. Luca, you're another one that needs to go and grow up and have a think about, is that really the only level you can operate at? There we are. Fantastic. Uh, who have we got? Everybody following? Uh, Dara says the IRA 1916 rising. Yes, 105 years ago. And consign that to history now. You don't need it. Ireland is free. All is well. We don't need any kind of violence or friction or anything. Isn't that beautiful? There we go. All sorted. There we are. Um, could you say hello to Molly? Absolutely. Scotty, where is Shergar? Oh, I think Shergar might be in uh, a, wee, a wee tin of we tin of dog food, sadly, you know, I, I think I think perhaps, yes. Poor Shargar. There we are. Opinion on Guinness. Um, well, I don't drink alcohol, hello, but if I was having one, it would be on holiday, right down the very south of Ireland, perhaps Clonakilty or the Ring of Kerry, and I would go into a country, country pub overlooking the sea, and I would say, point of Guinness, please. And then I would say, would it be all right to have a little bit of shopping to do? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yourself. Yes, no problem. And then I would pop back about 15 minutes later and sup. Sup it. Hey. Hey, that's lovely. Take the foam off my moustache. <laughs> Thank you for following us, everybody. The most famous ro radio host ever. Charlie Breslin, I think you are correct. Pumpkin says, you're no Scottish. Well, Pumpkin, I think you're no Scottish if you think that. 
<laughs> so I do mind telling you. There we are. First law if you became prime minister. Freedom of speech. Yes. Uh, no offensive language, but freedom of speech. Absolutely. So there you go. Right, Luca. Uh, it looks like you haven't grown up. Guys, uh, we're just going to ban Luca for life because he is obviously a half-witted idiot. There he goes. Bye, Luca. Everybody shout bye to Luca. There, he won't be able to hear you now. He's gone, poor soul. He's just one of these half-wits that couldn't grow up and was coming on, trolling, being a dirty, filthy wee midden on the world's top TikTok talk show. Tut, 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 I say. Let that be a lesson to the trolls. Scotty, you tell me where to get one of these pins. I've only got one left. There it's there. But... We will get you one, I promise you. There we are. You're no Scottish, this pumpkin. Pumpkin, going about with a heat on him. What's your opinion on independence? Penguin, if you want my honest opinion, I'm apolitical, so I'm not a party man at all, really. But I would say that I know every single penny that's in Scotland. And Scotland would do extremely well economically to come out of union with Westminster. Yes, absolutely. Celtic Arrangers says, Daniel, Daniel, the best advice I can give you, go and see them both playing and then make up your mind. That's it. And it's not cast in stone. You could support Rangers one week, Celtic another, Celtic one week, Rangers another. My only advice is if you're up the Celtic end at Celtic Park or Park Heed, don't have your Rangers scarf poking out your pocket. You need two scarves if you're changing. There we go. Everybody follow me, please. You're one of the nicest men I've ever met. That is very, very kind of you. That's too much. There we are. And uh, you should do golf commentary. So Dave's still saying it. Yes. So there we are. Good morning from Ireland. What's your opinion on the celebration against Arsenal for men? Barry, we're not really that deeply into football. So there we are. Ollie Reid, do you think so? Uh, now, there's Caitlin. Caitlin, um, that's very, very silly. Shall I ban you? Uh, you know, is that the best you can do? R.I.P. Peter Ellis. What a wonderful commentator Peter was. Wonderful, wonderful. There we go. Now then, favourite movie of all time, Sir Scotty. Of all time. Oh, that's very, very difficult because there are so many. I think if, it, if I was just to pick one and just stick my neck on the line, my favourite of all time that has bought, brought me the most joy would probably be The Sound of Music. <laughs> you know, I love all my thrillers and all my movies. Love the wild geese. Love the wild geese. There are some beautiful moments in that. Uh, so there we are. Everybody follow me, please. Let's see how we're doing for followers, guys, because we were doing very, very poorly. Uh, so there we are. That's a little bit better. Everybody get following as soon as you come on. They are very, very important. So Independence Penguin, yes, um, I think we should give it a go. You see, it doesn't need to be hard and fast. There's uh, somebody getting in touch with me from Beverly Minster. What a beautiful, beautiful cathedral that is. I love it. Well, it's a minster. So there we are. Connor, you need to seriously grow up and get your act together. You are a very, very... Um, far down the food chain there. I love cheese and pickle sandwiches. <laughs> uh, I won't name uh, the dog here. Uh, so there we are. No, I know what you mean, absolutely. Dinky do from Dunleary. I know Dunleary very well. Fantastic. I remember arriving at Dunleary. Never been so glad to get there. I took the cat from Liverpool down the Mersey across the Irish Sea in June. 
and it was so rough they had to shut the duty-free shop. <laughs> People were falling over and they were sober. My lovely friend, were you in the Falklands? Or were you hearing about it on TV? Oh, join, I have so many stories for you. Hello from Catrick Garrison. Say hello to Army 3 and 4 Scots. Uh, 3 and 4 Scots, am I talking balaclava? I salute you. Long as we up, short as we down. Salute you, sir. There we are. Have we got Balaclava Company with us? How many hours sleep did you get? Balaclava Battalion. Dinky do from the Vale of Evesham. Fantastic. We love having you with us from Evesham. I very often take the Evesham Road rather than go in through London. Do you play golf? Uh, Jelly Bean, I actually don't. I'm not a golfer. A friend of mine came up to me and said in a rather conspiratorial manner, Scotty, I think I can probably get you into the club here. And it's quite something, I have to tell you. It would make you very, very exclusive in the golf fraternity. And I leant over and pre-COVID, I patted his arm. I said, well, don't put yourself to any bother because I don't golf. <laughs> Hello from Ireland. Hello, it's yourself now. Uh, so there we are. Is that Green Academy plaque by the foot of him? It is McNillage. I'll just show the world Green Academy plaque. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There we are. Hink Vera Virtus. From these gates come true virtue. And now there are many fine examples of that. I can tell you. Hello, I hope you're well. Absolutely, there we are, dinky do. There we are, everybody's now talking to British Army. Dinky do. Can you say <clears throat> the Royal Welsh are an excellent battalion? Well, Gervin, of course I can. The Royal Welsh, will you see? I tell you this. I tell you this now, Taff. Uh, my sister lives in Greenock. She was a very lucky lady, very fine part of the world. It needs to be, Greenock needs to be the financial capital of the world. It needs to take over from where Hong Kong was before Britain decided to pull out. I'm Welsh, says John. Well, I say to you, uh, Nosda and Yakida, Yakida. Uh, Gervin, are you from Gervin? I know Gervin very, very well. Scotty, I hope you never shave that beard for the rest of your life. Robert Scrimger, you say the loveliest things. I spent most of my life clean shaven. Not a single little follicle was allowed to sprout a hair. But um, I've rather enjoyed having the beard, I have to say. Do you like the bagpipes? I adore them, Hayden. I am. Um, I call myself an expert on bagpipe tunes. Uh, no, mate. I'm a Irish joining the Royal Irish, Royal Irish Rangers. But my family is originally from here. Ah, yes. World War Two movie uh, went the day well. What item of food leads to suspicions regarding undercover Germans? What item of food? Is it a Wurst? Has somebody got a beer Wurst in the Ruckersack? I'm from St. David's. It's small but nice. Join, I send love to you at Easter Tide. I send love to St. David's and to the beautiful cathedral you have there. I do love it. It's beautiful. And love to all the Welsh viewers. Dinky do. There we are. Um, put that jacket over there. I'm just telling him to put his jacket over there. And then he can put his coat on when he goes out. So there we are. Scott, have you ever caught a haggis? No, they're very, very fast. They're very fast. They have a little skin flap that um, allows them to move at a tremendous pace. Uh, Dinky Doo Scotty, since you love the sound of music, I'd love to hear your rendition of Edelweiss. Yes, the only problem is we'd get a copyright strike, I think. No, I'd better not. There we are. Um, I'm free, Gervin. It's a class place. Yes, with the fishing fleet 
Remember the fishing fleet? What's the weather today, mate? The weather is stunning where I am today. Quite beautiful. The KOSB, no more, sadly. John Young, we do miss them. But you never, ever, ever refer to them as the Cosbys. So there you are. Or you'll be sent away with them. Um, how can I put this? A flea in your ear. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Have you ever heard the bagpipe song, The Black Isle? I know the black bear. I play the bagpipes for South Scott. He won the world's uh, champion, and I played for the Queen, Hayden. That is outstanding. My father and grandfather were wonderful, really well-known pipers. Outstanding. There's my father, Hayden, playing the pipes. Do you see him? That's Big Archie. And he was with the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. There's a picture of him, World War II in the band, and he stands out because he's so tall. There we are. I've heard it, mate. I make my way there at some point. Be quiet. Hold on. Be quiet! Somebody's trying to sleep! I've told them straight, so it should settle down now. There we go. I'm joking, they're all Welsh, everyone in my platoon. So there we are. Uh, where, so the, were you taking the pash? Uh, shout out to my friend, it's his birthday. Racism will just ban you for life. Racism's gone for being an idiot, guys. Half-witted idiot. We're not putting up with that on the world's top talk show on TikTok. Right, so you can say bye-bye to him. Uh, and uh, and good riddance. Guys, can everybody follow me? When will you be playing the squeeze box? Shall I play it just now for you? And then you've had a tune on it. Here it is here. Right? I'll give you a wee tune. Are we ready? <laughs> There you are. Did you like that? A wee tune of the squeeze box for you this morning. And I might even play you an Easter hymn on the pipe organ if you're good. Used to love listening to you winding up the women's of David Cowan. There we are. Your voice like Gandalf, Lord of the Rings. I thank you. How very kind of you. Can you name three fish starting with a K? Starting with a K. So what can we have starting with a K? Um, we could have a king salmon, a king herring, and a king haddock. How about that? What battalion were you in, the Scots? Is it five Scots? It's five Scots balaclava. There we are. Who's got Kruachan at the moment? You're royalist, Scotty. Well, everyone's a royalist, UK Marxist. I mean, even your Marxists are big, big royalists because it's our symbol of authority, the crown. Do you see what I mean? Absolutely. Um, and I know that, that, that Russia deeply, deeply, deeply regret the way they treated the poor old Tsar and his family. The king's own Scottish borders, 10 years, the piper. How fabulous, Big Pitch. You will be outstanding. Yes, uh, wonderful tunes. Battle of the Somme. There we are. Um, what else have we got for you, Australian ladies? Um, the Black Bear. Scotland the Brave, the Green Hills of Tyrol. Uh, what else can I give you on there? Um, as some good tunes. The Hills of Alva. 
Guy Sutton and Donald Pike Band, I remember that very clearly. Uh, Chieftain Salute, My Own March Past, The Glenderool Highlanders. Sometimes changed to Campbellton Loch. So there we are. One of Glasgow's finest pipers was Alistair Campbell's brother at Glasgow University. Absolutely, John. Alistair Campbell himself is no mean piper, I can tell you. Wonderful. Very, very good. So there we are. Now, Camos, is that really the best that you can do? Is that the low level you operate at? Uh, can everybody have a look at Camos sitting in the gutter just now, not realizing that that's the sum total of what he's doing with his life? Tot, tot, tutity, tot, 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 tot. Lifetime ban for Camos, what do we think, guys? Or I'm muting. Where are you from, says Mickey? I am from the universe, Mickey. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Um, I'm also from Scotland, my friend. Benjamin, I am delighted to hear that. Who's followed me and who's not? Let's have a wee follow. Let's have a look at this here. Right, we're very short on followers, guys. Can everybody follow? Very good, Scotty. Did you like that? What part of Scotland? The Kipper. That's a good fish as well. Or somebody that likes to sleep late. Uh, do you like classic rock? When I worked on the boats, my nickname was Kipper. There we are, because my family were from Argyle. Uh, Kipper, Killer Shark, and Kilmarnock, <laughs> which is a place in Scotland. We love it. I was floundering there. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, there we go. Do you like the classic rock band Queen? Well, absolutely. Of course, uh, Scaramouche, Scaramouche. The Gallipoli campaign, yes, my grandfather was in the Gallipoli campaign with the Scottish horse. Fantastic. So there we go. Um, do you know the gallant 42? Yes, of course I do, Mickey. So there we are. I was listening to the Greenfields of France last night. The pipes play the flues of the forest. Very, very difficult. And a flat tie yesterday, Scotty, you might have to buy a foot pump or air from the petrol station. Well, Robert, this is a really quite a dichotomy for you because air from the petrol station is not always free. Uh, check out if a supermarket's got one. Uh, the foot pump is not terribly dear. Mine was about eight quid, but that's a long time ago. But they tend to not last terribly long. The hoses quite often go. So there we are. Uh, Marxist has followed us. Thank you very much, Marxist. There we are. Sarah's followed us. Thank you. You, sir, do you sleep? I went to bed and you were on. I woke up. You're still on. Oh, yes. Been on all night. No, no not at all. We're just a, a quick morning pop-up because we can. I like to try different times of the day and see what suits people best, you know, that kind of thing. How long have we been up? Who can tell us? There we are. Um, now, there's somebody saying the Doge. Is that the Doge's Palace? Do you know any Gaelic, says Mickey? A camera ha u ha chama, Mickey. Farchi, farchi, ki da mili farchi. Don TikTok live stream agas scotchach ma cloch. There we go. I don't want you to flounder too much. It becomes a habit. Halibut. Yes, we don't want that, so there we are. Know your place, I say. Are you a cricket fan, Scotty? I'm a cricket fan, but I don't know very much about it. There we go. My great-grandfather was at Dunkirk. Absolutely, Guy, a difficult time. Have you ever heard of the band Gabber Lunzi? Yes, I've got stuff from Gabber Lunzi. I know them very, very well. Lovely stuff. Lassie with the yellow coatie. Freedom's sword. There we are. What about that, Gamarella? There we are. Hello, Marcus Dinkido. 
Scully, what are you doing with your Easter weekend? Well, I'm working, Jadfa, but I'll try and take time off because this is my leisure time popping up to have a wee chat. Being um, an international broadcaster and a talk show host, I like to pop up on social media, on YouTube and on TikTok because... Uh, TikTok's fantastic. I mean, this is lovely to be with all the international people. Do you watch cricket? Sometimes I get caught up in it. It's a wee bit fast for me nowadays. It's almost become too professional. Does that make sense? You know, I mean, I have fielded at a village match and it was just nice and slow. The sort of, you know, and then, yes, how's that? All that stuff, but nice and slow. You could keep your eye on the ball. Do you recognize Anzac Day? Of course I do, Marcus. Very much so. We owe a great debt of gratitude to the Anzacs. Absolutely. How are you doing? Guys, come and join me as quick as you can. Follow me. What traditions do you have for Easter? Well, I like to listen to Easter music. You know, I have a lovely, lovely recording called A Russian Easter with these beautiful, soft bass voices. I do like male voice choirs. So there we are. So I like to listen for that. And, of course, I commemorate the Lord's passing at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when he went to uh, Calvary. There we are. And I also... Um, you know, we have Easter Saturday. I think of, I think, I pray for Pontius Pilate's soul because he had a very difficult job and a very difficult posting. Judea was a very difficult posting. It was high profile. And the Romans brooked no opposition. You see? So Jesus as this interesting, clever, young teacher, freedom of speech. We should learn a lot from Jesus' death. And we should think now we need to promote freedom of speech, freedom of uh, information. Hi, lovely. I hope you and everyone else is an incredible day. You all deserve it. Sarah, you are such a sweet lady. Thunderfly, dinky do. Up the Scotland, big man. My granddad was in the Royal Field Artillery, the RFA. Yes, now RFA, you've got to watch that title because it can be confused with the RFA, which is the Royal Fleet Auxiliary. You know, do you remember the old day buff and black ships? So there we go. Loving your soul, Scotty. Give me a wave and I'll stop carping on. There we are. Fantastic. We love all that. The skills will fall from your eyes. Who have we got here, Dinky Do? Don't you wind up the women anymore, Scotty? I never have wound anybody up in my life. I just told the truth. There we are. I'm hungover. Any tips? Yes, absolutely, Chris. Stop drinking. Uh, thank God. So there we are. Uh, who have we got here? Is that you on the hat? Of course it is. Scotty McClue says, Dinky do. Fantastic. That's what we like. What's the one thing you've done but will never end up doing again? Well, I trusted one person in business with money, and I'll never, ever, ever do that again because he made off with the bulk of my life savings. So there you are. Uh, and that's the only bad person I've ever met. And uh, because I was so used to trusting people, do you know what I mean? And trusting people with, with quite big financial amounts and just this one let me down. So it was very much a case of, uh, you know, a dangerous animal that you couldn't trust, they would bite you. You know, and 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 had helped this person. You know, very very strange. So I'll never be doing that again, King Zenki. I tell you. But there we are. Uh, Mantiach, Madenma, yes, Matava, 
Mantava, is that right? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, absolutely. Yes, Koshin. Ah, Shaw. Shaw Spiracles. Yes. Oh, yes. Going for a walk to shops now. That's it, Chris. That'll do. There we are. Ha ha. Good morning. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Uh, I think still games based on you, Mr. McClue. I think, Ryan, a lot of people have said I was the inspiration for still game. So there you are. Very interesting, because I was around just before. Uh, that was so sad. Zinky, it was terrible. It was devastating. And you feel so let down. And even the money aside, the breaking of the trust is a terrible, terrible thing. You know, is that, and then he went on to do it to others as well. Shocking, shocking. So there we are. But there we are, uh, you know. Now, do you like music? I love music. I will teach you. If you go onto YouTube and put Scotty McClue piano, you'll hear me play, and I will teach you to play the piano in seven minutes. There's a lesson. Just go on YouTube, Scotty McClue piano. So there we are. I lost the game. Wow, you're so kind. Not at all, Zenki. You know, I mean, it's as if you were a, say you were, um, you know, like a prison officer and somebody told you never ever to turn your back on a person and one day you got assaulted and someone said, what happened? Did you turn your back? You said, I'm afraid I did. I trusted that person for a second. I said, Ooh, so there you are. So you have to take a responsibility for a very, very flawed uh, person, very toxic person. But it's only one bad person in my whole life. What about that? Is that not amazing? Your lives show up in my FYP all the time. Who are you? I'm Scotty McClue. I'm the world's top broadcaster. I'm the first lord of the internet. I'm probably one of the best known people in the whole world. And uh, now I know you and you know me, you see. So there's a lot of good come out of that, Riz. I can't tell you. There we are. Dinky Do Nirvana. Thank you for that. So there we are. What gender are you? Well, we never, ever, ever ask anybody their gender on here because we're all inclusive. So we don't want to put anybody through any kind of... Um, what what can you say? Inquisition. Do you see what I mean? You can be anything you like on here. Race, creed, colour, gender, background, rich, poor. You know, I mean, remember, if you've got no money, it doesn't mean you're poor. I mean, I'm one of the richest men in the world. I just don't have any money. So there we are. If you want to send me a TikTok, do please. Follow me, please, everybody. We're very, very busy this morning. Make my day and say hello, Scotty. 90 Nick. Hello. Brilliant, says Banshee. Hello from Ireland, says Yoan. Yoan, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Whereabouts are you from in the Emerald Island? I know every blade of grass in it. We're all human particles, you're a hundred percent. And I like animals watching, so members of the human race, members of the animal kingdom, all very welcome to watch Scotty McClue's talk show on TikTok Live Talk. Follow me, please, guys, from Kildare. I thought you were Dr. Kildare for a moment. Is anyone old enough to remember Dr. Kildare? Hi, Pixel. Thank you for sending me 20. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34 roses. What a beautiful thing to do. David's asking about people who are carrying excess weight. I've missed you, Scotty. You always cheered up my mornings. Banshee, I thought it would be lovely to try and pop up in the mornings. I used to pop up now. I remember Dr. Kildare says 19, Nick. Do you? Can you remember the name of another doctor at the hospital? And can you remember the name of the actor that played Dr. Kildare? One of the first things I got was I bought the theme tune from Dr. Kildare. I might even still have it. Let me see. How amazing would that be if I could find that live? <laughs> the theme tune from Dr. Kildare after all these years. 
I've got some little EPs here. And we might be able to, we might just have that still. <laughs> and on the other side was a song called A Kiss to Build a Dream On. <laughs> we love it. There we go. Uh, the theme tune from Dr. Kildare. Can we find it? Yes, we can. There we are. So many, many things. It's fantastic. There we go. Let me see if I can get you that. If I can, I will, guys, I promise you. Now, how amazing is this? Right? You're about to make history. The theme tune from Dr. Kildare. Is that not fantastic? The theme tune from Dr. Kildare, guys. Now, I'm trying to think. I think it might have cost me about seven shillings, right? So it might have cost me about seven shillings. And on the other side, a kiss to build a dream on. Is that not amazing? So there we are. Dee 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 dee. Uh, Dr. Finlay, I made a wee cuppa. Oh, Jean. <laughs> Can a man no do the toilet piece? Oh, Janet, it would be. Dr. Finlay. Richard Chamberlain was the actor, Nick. You're 100% correct. Yes, also outstanding in the thorn buds. Do you remember the thorn buds? So Richard Chamberlain, why don't you play music, Scotty? I can't hamster, we'd get hit with a copyright. I'll give you an Easter hymn, though. What about a hymn on the pipe organ? Do you like Jaffa Cakes, says Nikita. Nikita, I adore Jaffa Cakes. I'll give you something on the pipe organ here, just to say hi. Let's see if I can do that for you. Right. Are we ready? <laughs> Scotty McClure on the pipe organ. On Good Friday just for you, thank you, dear. Right. Okay. That's the one. <laughs> What about that, guys? Now, Scotty, why does a 99 cost £2.50? I know. I wonder if it was ever 99p. Yes, play. Thank you, Hamster. What about that, guys? There we are. We tune on the pipe organ for Good Friday. Guys, can you all follow me, please, and share and share? There's the lovely Susan Smith. Lovely Scotty Dinky-Doo. Thank you, Susan. You're a lady of such culture. Scotty, have you frequented the museum at New Lanark? <clears throat> Are you talking about, uh, yes, uh, Robert Owen's New Lanark? Let me tell you about that. I went out one Sunday when I was working at Scott FM, Scotland's finest radio station ever, and um, I was sitting having coffee in New Lanark, and I bought myself a newspaper I think it was the Sunday Post, and I was reading the newspaper, and I learned I had been proposed, along with Ian Banks, the author, and Prince Edward, 
for the student rectorship of Stirling University. But apparently the, there was a problem with the paperwork. And I think it was my office that had, uh, had made a, uh, some sort of uh, mix up with the paperwork. And I didn't end up as the rector of Stirling University. But Ian Banks and Prince Edward, do you know what I mean? Scotty McClue, three candidates <laughs> for university rector. There we are. And of course, I set up the radio station for Stirling, you know, so I was well known in the area. Fantastic. Who have we got here? Where in Scotland are you from, says Harry? Remember, have you ever visited London, says Hamster? Hamster, I lived in London. I lived in Queen's Gate. And if I remember, I, I think it backed on to Hyde Park Gate, where Winston Churchill lived in London. He lived at Chartwell in Kent at Westrum, and uh, he lived at, uh, I think it was Four Hyde Park Gate, and um, I think Queensgate backed onto, just round the corner from the Albert Hall. What's the nicest thing someone could genuinely say about you? King Zenke, um, what's the nicest thing? The nicest thing I've ever had said to me professionally was uh, Jack Milroy, one half of Francie and Josie saying that they listened to the show every single day and loved it. Is that not amazing? That's like a Scottish show business knighthood. <laughs> Scotty, Mary and I, son, we listen to your show every day and see when you finish, son, we put it off. <laughs> so the DJ that had to follow me did not particularly like that because I think about 80,000 people put the radios off. Who's your favorite comedian? So difficult. So difficult. Uh, now, um, yes. The nice, one of the nicest things that I've ever had said to me personally was one of the world's leaders just saying to me, thank you. I'm very pleased to hear that. You know, <laughs> there you go. Something I'd done for them. Um, who's your favorite comedian? Love Billy Connolly, of course. Love Kevin Bridges. Was brought up with Lex McLean. Love Jack Milroy and Ricky Fulton. Um, a lovely comic actor I knew very well was a man called Walter Carr. Very, very funny man who started as the feed for Lex McLean. Um, who else did we know as a comedian? Um, another good comedy actor was Jimmy Logan. Um, comedian is Peter Kay. I can remember about 20 years ago, um, a gentleman from a university, I'd been lecturing at a university, and a gentleman in Manchester said to me, would you like to join us tonight? We're going out to see a new comedian. And I said, who's that? And he said, it's a chap called Peter Kay. Apparently he's very good. And uh, I said, I would love to, but unfortunately I have to go and prepare for the show. Because if you imagine me going to a comedy show and I was on air at 10 o'clock at night and I'd be thinking, I need to get away now, all that sort of stuff. I had to do that. Um, it just goes with the territory. And uh, I missed one of the first shows of Peter Kay. But he's an outstanding comedian. Very funny, very, very clean cut, uh, very amusing, just so observational. Outstanding comedian. Who else have we got? There are so many. I love, uh, yes, I love some of the guys that do the one-liners, things like that. Just so many, so many. I love it. Uh, it's like I'm talking to a Viking. Well, there's Viking blood in me, I can tell you. So there we are. Elliot, shall I ban you now? Yeah, we'll ban Elliot. Guys, Elliot's leaving us for being a dirty, filthy wee midden. Bye, Elliot. There he goes.
<laughs> Scotty, good news. So there we are. Safe Moon is fueled up and ready for liftoff. That is very, very good. Should Berwick upon Tweed rejoin Scotland? I think everybody north of Watford should rejoin Scotland. There we are. What's your most cherished moment on the radio? I took a call from a... I've had so many cherished moments, but I took a call from a gentleman one night. And I said, hello, how are you? Let's just call him John. I said, hi, Scotty, it's John. Uh, Scotty, I wanted to speak to you because my father died. My father's died, you see. And I said, right, no problem, John. And we had a long chat. I then said to him, John, when did your father pass away? He said, about half an hour ago. And the first person he'd phoned was Scotty McClue on the radio to talk to somebody. Now that sent a big, big message to me about what I was doing, what it mattered to people, what it meant to people's lives. So that, I think, is probably the most cherished moment I can say. Morning, Scotty, you're on early today. What's that about? Kevin, I thought I'd just pop up and see who was a boot, you know, a bit like Crocodile Dundee with a zzzz. Let's see who's a boot. Guys, can you all follow me? Let me check if any of you have followed me. Um, yes, some of you have. We need a lot more followers. Frankie Boyle. No, I do. I do like Frankie Boyle. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, quite, quite edgy, quite edgy. But there we are. But yes, no, no, I do. I, I love any of these comedians because it's actually a very courageous thing to do, to stand up in front of an audience, you know. And, uh, you know, yes, absolutely, no, no problem at all. Every time I see Sterling Castle, I always think that it's too high up. Um, it's on basalt. If you look at the Forth Valley, it's virtually flat, and the River Forth meandering through it and into Stirling. And um, you've got two vantage points. One, the Wallace Monument to Stirling Castle, and they're up on basalt. Look up basalt. Can I have a shout-out to William Wallace? Of course, Stirling Castle was the headquarters of the Argyles. So we like that, the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. And I started the radio station for Stirling. It's called, um, can I have a shout out to William Wallace? That was a bit, <laughs> that was a bit apt there, wasn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, yes, it's called Central FM. There we are. It was Centre Sound Radio. Mickey Flanagan, yes, I like Mickey. Quite funny as well. Like all that sort of stuff. Stanley Baxter is a great comedian. Kevin White, you've taken the words right out of my mouth. Stanley Baxter. Stanley's in his 90s now. One of the funniest, most talented actors and comedians and comic actors you could ever have. Wonderful Wonderful, funny, clever, interesting man. Nice man, Stanley Baxter. What about Andy Stewart, the rumour? They're shouted at in Leith. Uh, but ooh, the tone grew different as it went up Leith walking along Princess Street. Somebody put in a train to Glasgow. <laughs> I like that. And then, but when it reached the islands... It didn't, what was it? It didn't travel because, no, but when it reached the islands that forgotten what it was. <laughs> the rumour. Every time I say, yes, absolutely. Do you like any bands or singers you wouldn't normally listen to? Kenny, I will listen to anything. I do resent a little bit that we are treated as idiots, that anything on television must be accompanied by ear-shattering music. We don't need that. Have the confidence. There we are. Ford Kiernan, yes, they're very funny as well. Ford, 
Yes, excellent stuff. Um, I always see you on Twitter. Ah, oh, George, yes. Follow me on Twitter, guys. If you're on there, get on there. Uh, Elliot, dinky do LMAO. Bye. Bye, Charlie. I, uh, uh, hey, Captain. Andy Stewart, a Scottish soldier. There we are, an excellent actor as well, Andy Stewart. I've worked with Andy. Uh, Grampian Television. Yes, excellent stuff. What radio station were you on? Oh, Jade. I was on stacks of radio stations. Have you ever heard of Magic? Have you heard of Radio Clyde and Radio Forth? Scott FM, Hallam FM. Uh, there we are. As Doncaster is still technically in Scotland. Donny! We'd call it up here. Oh, hi, Donny. There we are. A Century Radio, Magic Radio, R.I.P. the King. I'm a Maria from last time. Big fan, Maria. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Barry Contweed's technically at war with Russia. Oh, I'm sure they managed to patch that up. There we are. Mad Scotty. Well, my dear fella, says we Nathan. Nathan, thank you. Maria says me. So there we are. Guys, can you all follow me, please? We need followers and followers. Scotland will never be independent. What's your thoughts? Scotland could be independent if it wanted to. That's the thing. And it would do very well economically. I can tell you. Because although I'm not political, I know every penny that's in Scotland. And I know people who do. Um, there we are. Uh, which one wasn't he on, says Charlie? Yes. Uh, a boot in Canada comes from Scots. Yes, are you a boot? Aye, are you a boot? <laughs> Hi, mate. Could you give my good friend a shout out? So there we go. Alan, stop being silly. There we go. You're not harmful. You're just silly. <laughs> Jade goes, I don't know him. I don't know how I've come across this. Well, Jade, you've come across this because it's very big on TikTok and throughout the world. How are you doing, Dinky Do? Do you ever go to Glasgow? I do. Yes. Fran and Anna, says Nick. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell Jacob to fix his bonnet? There we go. Uh, Irish comedian, yes, absolutely. There's some very funny Irish people. Scotty, my grandfather's just bought a black Ford Anglia. I'm turning it into a police car. Are you sure they were black? A lot of them were blue. Sky blue and white. There we go. Sent Easter eggs. Thank you for sending me Easter eggs. Can everybody follow me, please? So, Scotty, do you enjoy the music of the... Fairport Convention, I don't know it off. So, cracking statue of Bob the Bruce at Stirling Castle. Robert the Bruce. You'll see it at um, Bannockburn, 1314. Scotty, what do the Scottish think of the English? They adore them. You get the odd Scot who's got a very, very low IQ that thinks that the English are responsible for what's happened in Scotland, getting the life sucked out of it economically. That's purely Westminster, not the English people. So there you go. Although there's a lot of ignorance in the far south. Jesus loves you. God bless, Callum. God bless you. Jesus loves us all. There we are. Have you been in still game? I haven't. Although they do say I was, um, it was based on Scotty McClure. I'm from Japan, Japan. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, and dinky do. It's a sunny day in Dumbarton. Jason, the sun always shines in Dumbarton, even when it's buckety. We love Dumbarton. Morning, morning, everybody. What if Parliament moved to Scotland and they ran the UK? Uh, yeah, you could run the UK from Scotland. I dare say the Scottish Parliament should be running the UK. They'd make an excellent job of it. Do you support LGBTQ? We support everything, Jaden. You don't even need to ask that on here. This is the most inclusive live on TikTok. Let's all get rid of the South. What do you mean by that? You'll have upset the people of Dumfries. 
There we are. I live near a famous footballer. I think everybody does, Charlie. What's your pronouns, Lyle? You never, ever, ever ask about pronouns. Uh, certainly not on here. There we go. I've only been to Glasgow once on my way to Helensburgh. Ah, James, how lovely. Can everybody follow us? What's your favourite quote from Jesus? My favourite quote from Jesus. He that believeth in me, saith the Lord, shall not die, but shall have eternal life. There we are. What about follow me? What about that? There we go. Uh, why are you on TikTok? Go on Instagram. TikTok's huge. Thousands are watching right now. Scotty, I love you. Hope you're having a great day. Dinky-doo, Mr. Wood. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome. If you're going to do lives, I do lives on YouTube. Get on there, tap the bell, subscribe to Scotty McClue. What's the best movie you've ever watched? Best movie I've ever watched. Probably ones I saw for the first time in the pictures. So, Sound of Music, I saw in 1965 in the pictures. Where Eagles Dare, I think, was 1970, something like that. So, there we are. Absolutely loved that. You've got 40 viewers, not thousands. Harrison, that's where you're very confused. Once you tot it up at the end, last night, I think we were 15,000. You see what I mean? So that's like you having a dozen people at your house all the time, every day, a different dozen people. And somebody said, but you've only got 12 in your house. This is, uh, you know, pre-COVID. You've only got 12 in your house. And you say, yeah, but they've been changing all day. I've had over 2,000 people through the house this morning. Do you see what I mean? That's how social media works. So there we are. Uh, what's your favorite part of the New Testament? Well, I love all of the New Testament. But I think Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are a great start. There you are. And the old books as well, Genesis, uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. First Samuel, Second Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job. You know, they're all excellent books in their own way. There we are. Who's the geezer behind you? That's me. Well, the geezer, the black dog, is uh, Lord Reith, called after Lord Reith of the BBC. You're very funny. Can we be friends? Everybody can be friends, Sherlock. Not a problem. Guys, can you all follow me? I can tell if you've followed me or if you haven't. There we are. Let me see if anybody's followed me. Some of you have followed me. But, you know, if I've got thousands of viewers, I should be getting thousands of followers. And I've got, what, 6,400. Why aren't you answering me? Do you support Scottish independence? Says the fresh goat. Uh, yes, of course, fresh goat. You would be a fool not to support Scottish independence because Scotland should be running its own affairs because the Scots know what they want. There we are. Why do you have the geezer in the wall? Because it was a present given to me by very, very loyal people who are huge fans of Scotty McClure. There we are. I answered you. I find the Bible makes for excellent reading. Absolutely off. The Fantastic Four, what are your pronouns? Amelia, you never ask anybody their pronouns. That's personal. Right on here, we're, we're way, way, way beyond all that. That's all passe. Think bigger. Be inclusive. We're inclusive on here. Scotty, what's your favourite colloquial Scottish words? I like glicket, scunnard, and dricht. I like uh, us. I like dicht, I like trachlan, I like um, everything, every single Scottish word, you know. I like, sometimes I don't say ichi or ochi. I've just said it. So there we are, There's all that sort of stuff. Again, you say, Matilda, do you support BLM? You don't ask any of that stuff on here. This is big. What you're watching, Scotty McClure on TikTok. We are inclusive. Doesn't matter what anybody's color or creed 
or uh, background or religion or pronouns. None of it matters because we're inclusive. Everyone's welcome on here. So never, ever ask these personal questions. Uh, thanks for following me, guys. Do you, do you like Fortnite? Yes, I do, but I only play once a week. Uh, see what I just did there? Uh, I only went to Hellsbury because I was supposed to go on a sub on the Clyde. Absolutely, James. I remember I used to work on the boats and we used to see the subs all the time. There we are, way, way back, 1968. What about that? And we used to travel from Gurk to Helensburgh. There we are. What football team do you support? Oh, the choice is huge, Dan. Where do I start? You've got Aberdeen, you've got St. Johnston, you've got Elgin, you've got Stirling, Dundee, you know, the Saints, Rangers, Celtic, all of them, Partick Thistle. There we are. Uh, Jaden, I think you might as well go. You're on the wrong thing. Guys, I'm going to dump a guy called Jaden because he's got a tiny, tiny, tiny mind. There we are. And he's also an idiot. Right, he's gone. That's Jaden gone. Excellent stuff. Uh, so there we are. So never, ever, ever ask... But the Famous Five, I loved The Famous Five. Enid Blyton, I don't know why Enid Blyton's gone out of fashion because she was an outstanding author or authoress. Shiralba, Shiralba. There we are, dinky do. The Famous Five, what can we think? Five go to Kern Island. What about obscure ones like The Rillaby Fair Mystery? The Secret Seven. Uh, the famous five, do you remember Uncle Quentin? Partly Scotland's the only country in history to vote against its own independence. I know. How mad is that? These poor, a lot of them are poor souls who don't understand. They have very little knowledge and understanding. Why would you go into, be forced into a union against your will and have to devalue your economy and your currency for to facilitate economic union? Oh, why would you sell out for as little as 15 quid? That's what some of the aristocrats got. What's he on about? Ex-official, you need to develop your mind and then someday you'll understand what I'm on about. I will help you to understand. There we go. Fantastic. That's plenty. Can you say my name? I can, Harrison. There we are. It's not personal to ask your pronouns. How are we supposed to know what to call you without offending? You'll never, ever offend anybody at all, uh, you know, with any of that stuff. Nobody in their right mind would ever be offended. Remember, you've got to take offense. You can't give it. So there we are. There's Jaden before he was dumped. Uh, Stevie, Stevie the Sleeve, you need to grow up seriously and say to yourself, is this really the way I want to operate you know, coming out with trash like that. Do you speak Scottish Gaelic? Camera ha ooh f hughes hachema. Falchi, falchi, ki de mili falchi, don tiktok agas scotch achma kluch. Koashin na a shaw, shaw, f hughes. Oh, f hughes. Then that song because we're manipulate, manipulated by English unionists. The next time, absolutely. Do you play in FIFA? Uh, no, I don't play football professionally anymore. So there we are. What football team do you support? As I say, so many of them, maybe about 50. Then you've, I've got all the English teams I love as well. Aston Villa, um, AFC, yes, yes, we like the Gunners. Dinky do, Mr. McClure. Do you prefer stockings over tights in the summer? Um, I tend to go without both. There you are. Absolutely. You've got to watch tights because if you broke wind, your ankles could swell up. What was your first job, Scotty? Uh, I worked, I was the cabin boy on the boats on the River Clyde. Outstanding cabin boy. Uh, Scottish Independence 2021. So there we are. Alan Mooney, have you not grown up yet? You need to grow up, son. There we are. Go and have a think about your life. There we are. We tend to have uh, some wee trolls on. I think they've all got up because it's midday. They're early, mind you. Usually your trolls don't get up till two in the afternoon. 
And even then, they're very confused till about four. <laughs> Fantastic. We're friends, dinky do, Scotty McClure. Strathclyde and Glasgow University for business. Oh, wow, Cameron, you can't put that on to me. They're excellent. The business school at Strathclyde and Glasgow. Go and talk to everybody about it and make your mind up. See, I'm a Glasgow University man, but I'm an arts graduate. So, you know, little bit biased there. But Strathclyde Business School, it will be exceptional. Uh, did you know a guy from Helens who invented the TV? Harry, absolutely Sherlock. Well, nothing gets past you, you know. Would that be John Logie Beard? He went to what's now Strathclyde University, but it was the Royal Technical College, and one of his fellow students was John Reith, who started the BBC. So there we are. Do you support BLM? You don't need to ask that football. Everybody does. It's just a silly question. Uh, you know, everybody supports all that, and we're inclusive on here. So, you know, try and ask something just even using an IQ of two or three, try and ask a sensible question rather than do you support and what's your pronouns. You know, uh, opinions on socialism. Well, the only thing, I think there's a balance, Darren, but if you had pure socialism, then we'd all end up with nothing, you know. Uh, so that's uh, that's one side of it. What's your favourite part of Scotland? I like the West Highlands. So do I, Spiracles. We'll run with that just now. I like it all, though. So there we go. Now, who have we got here? Can you understand much Irish? Irish Gaelic? Yes, of course. Uh, it's just it's quite like Scottish Gaelic, but a bit different. But you can usually get by. Uh, now, Steve the Sleeve. You need to seriously grow up. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do with you. Guys, I'm going to ban Steve the Sleeve for being a dirty, filthy wee midden. There he goes. Gone. Gone. Right, there we are. You can only uh, put up with so many trolls, and then you have to own them. And away they go. Can everybody follow me, please? And uh, tell everybody, share this live, but you must follow me. And go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel as well. I'm going to see if you've followed me. I can have a look here, you see, and just check. Yes, yeah, some of you have followed me. We need a lot more, please. Uh, Darren Pete, you're Scottish. Do you support independence? Any sensible Scot supports independence, yeah? Because it's absurd that a country should be run from a London central office 500 miles from where it's situated in this day and age. Do you see what I mean? It's also absurd that people to the far right are making decisions about a slightly left of centre country. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, now, would you rather be a Skittle or an M&M? Well, m and is a better rapper. <clears throat> a Skittle tends to get hit by a bowling ball. You know the big yellow bag. Uh, you need to get back on the radio. We do, Snicker, there's no doubt about that. If you say naughty words, you're going to be in the place where our Lord sends you. Absolutely, Scotty. Change that to an IE, Scotty. So there we go. Can you shout me out? I can. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mel Gibson be a better SNP leader. No, 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 no. Um, I think our SNP leaders are excellent. I think they should have stepped in quicker and made Alex Salmon the president once all the sort of dust had settled. Good evening, brother. Good to see you again. I did my first live before. Gavan, congratulations. We love it. Fantastic. Is that you behind me? Yes, that's me behind you. Uh, in front of you, behind me. Would you have your face on the sign and he gives me a supermarket? Yes, of course. I'd be delighted. So there we are. We Scots are hardy people. Offence is subjective and we can't be bothered. There we are. You look very nice, Scotty. Thank you for that. Scotty, change your title to an IE or people will not take you seriously. 
There we go. Uh, we are buddies, my friend. Yes, indeed. So there we are. Very, very important. Now, who have we got here? How's your day? Excellent stuff. Excellent. Um, now, hi, Thea from the Philippines. Jesus loves you, so says Ad. There we go. I will die for you, my buddy. You don't have to. There we go. Celtic or Rangers, go and see them play. Make up your mind. Guys, can everybody follow Scotty McClure if you're watching right now? Very, very important. I need to see who's followed us, if anybody has. I can't understand it because I've got thousands and thousands of viewers by the end of a TikTok. And uh, the, the, the problem is that only a few hundred have followed. I don't understand that. Scotty, is Sir David Attenborough immortal? I would hope so. Shall I do you my David Attenborough impressionation? Nothing is stirring in the frozen landscape of the Arctic. A thankless, empty place. Then there's movement across the Arctic tundra. It's the one resident, the Arctic fox. Did you like that? Is that any good? There we are. Can I do a good David Attenborough? Please follow me, guys. Jagger, Land Rover, Scotty. Both Petrolhead. Both, absolutely. I've always been a fan of both. There we are. Fantastic. Lovely things. Um, the Jaguar for uh, my official car and the Land Rover for um, everyday use in the country. Uh, Scotty, you should have played Gandalf in Lord of the Rings, I thank you. That's great. Did you like that? That was good. That was good. Did you like that, guys? Excellent stuff. Thank you for that. There we are. Do follow me if you're on and share. Let everybody know that we're on here. Guys, can I have some likes, please, and some followers? As I would say if I was Faith Faith, honest, I'm no joking. There we go. I need to follow us. There we are. Plenty of viewers, but uh, only a few followers. There we go. This is the best live TikTok video I've ever watched. Oscar, I thank you. I hope you've watched lots. <laughs> rather than maybe just one or two. But uh, no, no, we do like to talk with the people. We talk with the people. You see, talk radio nowadays, it's not actually proper talk radio. This saying, right, I've got the Prime Minister coming in at 12 o'clock. You need to be talking to the people. My pet hate is when a person has been knighted and people don't say, sir. Well, you see, I call everyone I respect, sir. So I don't really mind that, uh, you know, and uh, always, I've always called knights, sir. I have met a lot of knights, and uh, I always call them, sir, absolutely. And sometimes they'll say to me, no, please, you know, it might be Sir Christopher, and they'll say, please call me Chris. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, uh, you know, I, I have, I always would go over and say, um, excuse me, Sir David, sorry to interrupt. Um, no, not at all, please, Dave. You know that, and but let it come from them, you see. Today we remember Jesus died for our sins, the son of the carpenter. That puts it all in perspective. Yes, he did. Remember, you can't say faith. You must say kingdom of faith, Ken. So there we are. Okay. Just a wee slip of the tongue. Faith, 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 kingdom, faith, faith, the kingdom. I think we should put all criminals on a rocket and launch them into space. But there'd be a lot of flights going on. Do you mean let them just orbit the earth until they fade away? It's a thought, isn't it, you know? And I remember somebody telling me his father knew the exact time he was going to die. It was in America, and the judge told him. So there you are. 
And uh, the prison officer accompanied him to the chair and said, Is there, have you any last requests? And he said, yeah, can you, can you hold my hand, please? Scotty has entertained my family through the decades. I'm 22 and I listen. My gran was a fan. Danny, what a lovely thing to say. What are your pronouns? Says Pip, Pip, never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns on here. So there we are. All those involved in the Brexit leave campaign would be gone. Yes, send the Brexiteers into space. I think the Brexiteers should pay for Brexit. 200 billion pounds for no reason at all, just because they're a wee bit xenophobic. There we go. I respect you, Sir Scotty McClure. It's, I thank you. You're very, very, very kind. Welcome, 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 I say. Petrol head for life and Kirkcaldy butt. Ken Kirkcaldy the lantern. Love Kirkcaldy, Ken. Um, what are you? What am I? I am the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. Will that do you for starters? So there we are. Can everybody follow us, please, guys? Uh, so there we are. I was born there, lived in Creole, but I'm now in Aberdeenshire. Absolutely petrol heat. Uh, in Texas, there's 204 on death row, and some of them have been there for decades. That's harsh, isn't it? Uh, you know, for any human being. I mean, old Albert Pierpoint, the last hangman in Britain, uh, he used to dispatch them very, very quickly. He would run into the cell. He was, he was a cigar smoker. Uh, he owned a pub in Southport. And he would puff his cigar. And he would put it in the ashtray, knowing he had to be back having dispatched the person before the ash fell from the cigar. And he would take off, he'd looked into the cell earlier, summed them up, uh, and he would look in and he would say, don't worry, old boy, we'll soon have your way. And boom, boom, done. Dreadful, dreadful for the staff and for the hangman. And then I think he was fined a shilling for, for manslaughter, was that right? Uh, now then, Let's get following on here, guys. What do you think about Alex Simon's Alba party? Um, very interesting. We'll see what happens. It's good to have another pro-independence party in Scotland, uh, whether you want Scotland to be independent or not. Opinions on the IRA. Very, very, very much passé. Obviously, in the south of Ireland, they'll be thinking about the Easter Rising of 105 years ago, but very much passé and an organisation that have done terrible, terrible, terrible harm. I can understand why they came into being from the Republican Brotherhood because they felt oppressed in those days. Um, but um, oppression has all gone and there's absolutely no requirement for terrorist organisations. So there we are, um, appalled and appalled at uh, what they did to my dear old friend, Lord Mountbatten. That was shocking. And it split. I know it split the army because I've spoken to people who have said, oh, that caused a terrible, terrible split. Should never have happened. And you know, where the irony was, as well as, uh, you know, losing complete face and just being branded as murderers. The irony of that was that Lord Mountbatten was one of the very few people on God's earth that would have understood where these people were coming from because he dealt with oppressed people in India, and uh, he'd also been the commander in Southeast Asia, you know. My father knew him in uh, in India and uh, was inspected by him and things like that, uh, you know. And, and they are a lovely family, the Mountbatten. So that was a, a terrible, terrible tragedy. Anyway, let's not uh, go there now because it's all in the past. We have the Good Friday Agreement which we celebrate today. 
Good Friday Agreement. So how long ago is that? Is that 20, 23 years? Am I right? 23 years. How fantastic is that? Uh, guys, can you all follow me here? Uh, the world's most humble man isn't a very humble thing to say. It's the most humble thing you could ever say, uh, user. You can't get more humble than the world's most humble man. Uh, what do you think about the new Alba political party? Yes, we're interested in what's going on there. Um, if it achieves independence, then it's good for Scotland. Uh, so there we are. Life no bad. I was born in the old fourth park in Kirkcaldy, but it's now gone. Absolute NHS cuts. Jesus loves you all. Indeed, Jesus does love us all. You know, you can't hang a man with a wooden leg. It's got to be a rope. Phyllis, what are you at? I live next door. Good for you. Oh, thank you for sending me roses. How beautiful is that? It's Blackbeard from the Pirates of the Caribbean. No, it's Greybeard. Yes, I know Blackbeard well. One person spent 37 years in an American prison. He came out and they found out he was innocent. This is why this country did away with the death penalty. 1965, I think it was, a Labour MP. We want our freedoms as car guys. Of course you do, absolutely. Guys, thank you for sending me all these beautiful TikTok gifts. Very appreciated. Gazelle, Gazbill says there's a moose moose about this hoose. There certainly is, Gazbill. Thoughts on Scottish independence, even although Scotland created the union. Well, no, a Stuart monarch created the union. But by that stage, with the United Crowns, so it was a Scottish queen that created the union, and the Scottish aristocrats were desperate for dosh, and they bit her hand off. Some of them, I think, as low as 15 quid, certainly 20 quid, 25 quid, and one got a hunter in Siller, you know, so which was just sheer greed. So there we are. So no change there. What did you think of Greyfriars Bobby? I love him. I love the statue. Yes. Was it not Mr. Quail that looked after the grave? Was he the landlord of the pub, Mr. Quail? And the old pillars, the old bobbies. There we are. And old Jock was his master, an old Edinburgh character at Greyfriars. Hello, I'm G Dinky Doo. Lord Mountbatten was a good guy. Lord Mountbatten was an exceptional man. I saw his daughter and his granddaughter on the telly last night. I think his other daughter has passed away. Um, yes. Yes, he had two daughters. That's right. And this was Pamela and her daughter India on the telly. And and she's lovely. She was a lady in waiting to the Queen. So there we are. Patricia was his other daughter. And Patricia was very, very, very seriously injured with her husband John Brabham on that boat. You know, they, they had lacerations to their face and they lost their little boy, a lovely, lovely wee guy, one of twins. Yes. Absolutely. So there we go. Um, yes, the Brayburns, nice people. There we go. Who have we got here? A Scottish king made the union. Absolutely. James I made a queen of Scots' son. There we are. The majority of Scots were highly against it. No, that was the union of the crowns. You're getting confused, big ounce. Union of the crowns, 1603. Three minutes past four. The Union of the Parliaments, 1707, under Queen Anne. And bless her, but she was at the jiggery-pokery, I can tell you. King Billy, King William, now he was not a nice man. He was a baddie, believe it or not. And I know that the Orangemen worship him, but he was, he was a baddie. He was actually facilitated the Union by pulling out of the Darien scheme or the Ryan scheme in the Isthmus of Panama. 
So there you are. So it wasn't a Scottish king who made the union. It was a Scottish king who united the crown. So the crown is effectively Scottish. And that's our symbol of authority, which is why we will keep our monarchy forever, because we love them. So there we are. Now, uh, I'm not going to read that out, Chagat. That's a dreadful thing to say. You're the kind of people we don't want on here. Uh, thank you for sending Rosie's XN. That's so beautiful of you. Hello from Australia. Adam Dinky Do. Let me see. It must be 11 o'clock in the evening in Oz, something like that. 20 past 11 in the evening. Thank you for sending all these gifts, guys. So beautiful of you. Can you follow me, please? Everybody follow Scotty McClure. There we are. Uh, it's the union that's kept us afloat. No, this is where you're completely wrong. Scotland gives £75 billion to Westminster every year and subsidises it, okay? So you've had your head stuffed with nonsense and you've fallen for it. You've been watched from the back like a ventriloquist dummy. You know, that's where you're at. Scottish, Welsh and Irish independence. So there we are. Let the Brits starve now. No, absolutely not, Noodles. There's no such thing as the Brits. Everybody is Brits. All right. So the whole of Northern Ireland and the whole of from the tip of Scotland, John O'Groats to Land's End, is a land mass called Britain. But the only way you would ever call people Brits is that they live on the land mass. So Britain has got four countries, yeah, and used to look after Ireland. There we go. So we don't have any of that kind of nastiness, noodles. Right, there we go. Uh, do you know, uh, he's pretty famous and he's my uncle. Right, Maddie? No, I don't. Hindley and Brady, unfortunately. Yes, I think Hindley and Brady probably should have been hanged. Uh, I think they did. OMG, so famous, Maddie. Absolutely. What are your pronouns? I've been never, ever asking anybody about pronouns. We're all inclusive on here. So there we are. My uncle talks about you all the time. Does he? I thank you. Uh, <laughs> Stop. Uh, uh, so would you say support the SNP? Well, I'm apolitical. I'm just telling you the facts economically. There we are. The amount of dafties in this. Don't worry about them. They've just got up. These are... Um, so there we go. So Derek, why are you still watching? Let's get rid of Derek. He's a half-wit. Gone. There's a guy. <laughs> He's been watching all morning. And he says... Oh, this is rubbish. <laughs> yep, very famous. Absolutely, it's got to go big up Ireland. There we are on there. And uh, what have you. So there you go, noodles. Absolutely, Lord Mountbatten sadly was murdered. Um, there we go. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the northern white rhinos? Serious news on them. We love any creature. We don't want any creature going extinct whether it's white rhinos or Scotty McClure or elephants. So there we go. Uh, what have we got here? Love your content, says Jack. Fantastic. What have we got here? What about 100 years war? Um, yes, uh, 100 years, that's far too long uh, for a war. Uh, Cyrus, you need to grow up. In fact, I'll just bin you, to be honest. It's not worth my time. There we go. Cyrus is gone. I'm oh, just being, being an idiot. Now, who have we got here? Feasible can go as well. Feasible's away, guys, just to let you know. Say bye to all the these wee guys. Wonderful. Scotty is very educated, says Nancy. Yes, of course, two degrees. IQ 164. There we go. 50 years of proper research. Uh, is Ireland a part of the British Islands? Um. The six counties are annexed and follow the union of the United Kingdom. So there we go. But uh, Ireland itself, 
I think it might still, I think the Irish crown might still be within the union of the crowns. Very, very interesting. But Ireland, of course, is um, a republic at the moment. So there we go. But the guy that founded Sinn Féin was a great monarchist. Big, big monarchist. Very interesting. Was Arthur Griffiths, I think. Cheer me up. I'm in hospital. Scarlet, we want you strong and well. We send you love and every blessing on this Good Friday. We want you strong and well. And back to your old self. There we go. I have an Irish heart. All the family is Irish, says Chelan. There we are. Now, what have we got today? Lil Pin, grow up. We'll just block you. We haven't time for that level of nonsense. These people have got an IQ of one. <laughs> so there you go. Right, if you've just joined me, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on TikTok Live. That's the big one. Go on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll get a direct link to it beside my profile. You'll see the little Instagram badge. If you press that, it'll take you to Instagram and then take you on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. And you can subscribe and tap the bell. Have we got any followers? Can I see? Please do follow me. Very, very, very important. Uh, I mean, an Irish fan full stops or something. What a sweeping thing. <laughs> uh, so would Scotland become a tax haven like Southern Ireland? Well, that might be a good idea to make it a tax haven and attract, make it the centre for finance. Uh, so there you are. What do we got here? Soon they'll be as one country. There we are. Yes, very, very good. Absolutely. Arthur Griffith fought in the Easter Rising. He's not a monarchist. He was a huge monarchist, Noodles. Go and read up on your own Irish history. Scotty McClure have to teach you everything you know. Come on. Uh, so there we go. My best years at university with Scotty on Radio Lancashire at night. Absolutely snicker. There, they were the days. Uh, De Valera was neutral on the Allies side in World War II. Mickey, you're absolutely right. Poor old Eamon De Valera, or Dev, as we used to call him. Um, he was very nearly executed. And Lloyd George phoned over to Ireland. He said, what's going on? They said, we're killing terrorists. He said, well, stop, because they're all related over here. It's causing terrible problems. So they said, well, we'll stop at the tall school teacher. And that was Dev as a young man. And he was known as the tall fellow with the long shadow. Yeah. And Dev was around till the 60s. And Churchill absolutely adored him. He couldn't show that side. But Churchill said to him, um, you couldn't have done more for us if you'd been in with us on our side. Thank you. And of course, that was all kept secret. They are not many people know that. Uh, because what had happened was Dev allowed the BBC to route all their communications through Ireland. Yeah, fantastic for the Empire Service. What's your views on the Stone of Destiny? Um, so there we are. Well, is it the real one? We don't know, but it, uh, it's good that it was in Westminster Abbey as well, because remember that the monarchy is effectively a Scottish institution from the Union of the Crowns. It was Scotland that united the crowns. And... Um, they were crowned in King Edward's chair. So uh, they were crowned on the Stone of Destiny, you see. So it was very much a Scottish coronation. There we are. Uh, here's 24, Will. When did you become transgender? Well, I didn't know I had 
but I'll certainly look into it now that you mention it. There we are, Nabro Island on the top. There we go. Who have we got here? Scotty. Uh, fed up with the UK and the British distinction and isn't addressing it. So there we are. Nancy, I'm addressing everything. You're not addressing knowledge. Rangers or Celtics, says Archie. Go and watch them both play, Archie is the best advice. And then make up your mind from there. Uh, what's up from the Gold Coast in Australia? A menace. We love having you on from Australia. Dinky-doo. Guys, can everybody follow me? There we are. Everybody's a monarchist, Nancy. You know, Arthur Griffith wanted a Jew monarchy, like Austria-Hungary. Well, yes, there was that as well. Mickey, you're quite right. Um, do you like Marvel? Uh, the comic or the stuff you put in your tea? Uh, you need to be given a radio show again. I enjoy listening to you. Sparkles, I enjoy broadcasting, as you know. There we are. Keep your hand on your hipney, legend. There we go. Now, Churchill was awful. What a horrid man. Did you know him, Nancy? Tell us how you knew him. Uh, Ireland have British troops lost at sea during World War. Yes, of course they did. A uh, guy in prison says to the warden, it's cold in here. And the warden says, I'll put on another bar for you. Can everybody follow us, please? Did you hear of a place called Montserrat, the Forgotten Irish Lift? Listen, I broadcast to Montserrat. Go on to YouTube and put Scotty McClue, Burns Night, Montserrat. Now, there's volcanoes in Montserrat, I can tell you. How was the World Wars in Scotland? I've never really been informed on it. I feel you'd know. Very, very harsh on the Scots. You've got to remember that almost a third of a generation perished in the Somme. All these Scottish regiments, and then there was an appalling train crash at Gretna, and regiments were killed. So there we are. Harry, can you just go away and grow up? You don't have a brother. He's not called that, and he hasn't come back from the army. So it strikes me that not only are you a liar, you're also a halfwit. Okay, you don't even know who your family are. If Scotland go independent, my British allegiance will always remain. I'm lifting. Well, there's no British allegiance, you see, because there's no such country as Britain. You're just living on a landmass. If you move to England, you'll have a lovely time. I've lived in England for many, 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 many years. Top knowledge. I thank you, Jackie. Takes one to know one, Jackie. Clever, clever man. Scotty, you're the best. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! De Valera had Irish civil servants record the last native Manx Gaelic speakers. Oh, no, Eamon de Valera was a remarkable man. He wasn't everybody's cup of tea. But he was dreadfully, dreadfully vexed when Hitler died. Um, there was talk he should maybe give his condolences to the German ambassador. I don't think he did, actually. So there we are. Very difficult situation. The Nazis caused terrible situations uh, throughout the world. Hello from Armagh. Lovely to have you with us, Pablo, from Armagh. We like it. Scotty McGee, uh, what do you think of Catholic orders like the Knights? Well, I respect everyone. So uh, a Catholic is a Christian and a Protestant is a Christian. So they're very, very closely united having the same religion. There we are. So, um, you know, whatever people have within them, tolerance is always the big thing. You saved this country from war. How dare you? You wouldn't be feeding uh, Dan or Nancy and Dan are talking. Uh, so there were Dan's educating Nancy. Are you pro-independence? Yes, I think that economically, I'm not political at all, but I think economically Scotland would do extremely well uh, on its own. You know? Uh, hi, big Jimmy McDonald transporting a big bomber airplane on the A1 South. Big Jimmy, we love you. Safe journey, sir. 
There we are. I recognise your voice. What was your radio programme in Scotland? Scotty McClue's Nightline on Scott FM. I loved listening to you years ago, says Jen. I thank you, Jen. There we are. Now, who have we got here? What gender are you? Um, I'll need to check and get back to you. What gender are you while you're on? Uh, most of the Hearts football team killed in the Great War. Yes, indeed, Mickey. There we are. Scotland. Uh, I've never been informed. We can inform you here. There we are. Now, uh, sir, I find that offensive. We are proud Britons. Do you agree? Um, well, what are you proud of? You're either a Scot, an Englishman, a Northern Irishman, or a Welshman. So a Briton is a 2,000-year-old term, you know? So that's very much passé. Your comments are laughable, says Dan. Good, he's getting stuck into Nancy there. She's talking a lot of shit. People on here thinking they can roast Scotty McLean. I know, Jen, it's hilarious. <laughs> Jesus loves you, says Landon. Correct? Correct? Uh, so there we are. The Christian religion's an abomination. Uh, wrong. <laughs> Grey Friars were Franciscans. Yes, I like the Franciscans, the followers of Francis. And I also like the, um, the Benedictines. I'll tell you who was a Benedictine, was that lovely man that was the Archbishop of Westminster, Basil... Um, Oh, come on, come on, second name. He was a wonderful man. Basil, he was the Archbishop of Westminster. Yeah, and he was, uh, he was, he was a Benedictine. And in fact, he'd been the headmaster of um, the big Catholic public school in Yorkshire. So what about that? It just It's just slipped my mind there. The Catholic Church did terrible evil in error. Do you agree? Um, well, let's put everything in context. You're starting off with slavery in the 15, 1600s. But slavery also was domestic. The miners, the people, all that, 400 years of slavery. Uh, the church itself, yes, caused a lot of human suffering in Ireland. No doubt about that. But context, it was better than nothing. There was a degree of education and learning. Although the Mass wasn't really said in English, some uh, churches as late as 1960-odd. So there we are. Uh, can you say hello to Leno and to Logan? Of course I can. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Hi, Papa Scotty. Eh? Eh, any shakes? Oh, yes, we like the odd uh, banana or chocolate. Uh, where in Scotland are you from? I'm in Murray. I know Murray so well, Fraser. Elgin, Lossiemouth, favorite places of me. Yes. <laughs> Now, what have we got here? Based this statement saying it would manage economically on its own. No, it's, it's based on knowledge, remember. All my statements are based on knowledge, understanding, and fact. So there you are. So if you're sending £75 billion to Westminster and you thought, we'll just hang on to that, can you see the difference? So nothing baseless about that, Mason. You need to grow up and you need to listen. Cutie, thank you, Bailey. Love your show, Scotty. Can Big Jimmy ask people to be patient with us, taking two lanes up? Yes, absolutely. Good for you. Ample Forth was the school. And uh, I'll have the name very shortly. Basil Hume was the Archbishop of Westminster. And he was a lovely, lovely man. Uh, there we are. What country do you prefer, England, Wales, or Ireland? I adore them all equally. 
They've all got huge, huge merits. My wife told me to stop impersonating a flamingo. I had to put my foot down. Quite right. <laughs> Can you wish Dread Jog a happy birthday and tell him to neck some frothies? Yes, yes, you have to neck a frothy milk shake. Northern Ireland is not part of Britain. Educate yourself. Who's, Nancy, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Why are you coming out with a statement like that? Britain is a landmass, I've already told you. Geographically, Northern Ireland is not part of Britain. Yes, but it sounds like you're trying to say it politically. You educate yourself, Nancy, because you are a knower of next to nothing. There we are. Can you say hi, Dinky Doo? Absolutely. There we are. Love it, Nancy. Basil Hume, that's in Mickey. Scotty, you're running circles around them with your knowledge and wit. A pleasure to watch. Jackie and Fife, Ken. <laughs> the kingdom, Ken. <laughs> Has anybody followed me? Can you please all follow me, guys? So there we go. Let's see if anybody's following. There we go. No, we need a lot more followers. Everybody on here watching should follow, please, and like. Have we got some likes? That would be good. There we go. Thank you for following, guys. There were good priests, too. Yes, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of good priests. In fact, I think it's very harsh on the priests that they're not allowed to marry, I have to say. There we are. I like the Latin Catholic Mass. Yes, indeed. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Very, very beautiful. Yes, absolutely. Kiri Elysion. Uh, in nomine Patris et Filis et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. So there we are. Jordan, we'll get rid of you because you're a half-wit. Right? I wish we could educate you, but we'd be struggling and we don't have time this morning. So it's just a bye to Jordan, guys. Okay. Uh, Jesus loves you. Yes, we got that. Now, uh, Dan is sorting out Nancy. Well, I don't think that was aimed at me from Nancy. It was aimed at Dan. So there we are. Uh, now, Alan, that's not very gentlemanly. Son, I believe Scotland's not a nation and never was better together with their brothers. Some men, I believe you're talking out a different part of your anatomy to everyone else. <laughs> Scotland is the nation. There we are. So can you say hello to my wife, Cheryl, and my son, Isaac? I can snicker. Scotland should never be independent. Any any reason? <laughs> so there, are you a Trump fan? Well, he's passing you now. Absolutely. What was your job when you worked? My job is TikTok. Absolutely. I've always worked. Always will do. So there we are. Greek Catholic right priests can marry. Ah, I went to a Greek wedding once. It was wonderful. Was all day. Are you okay? I am, Daniel. Absolutely. <coughs> Pardon me. Jackie says, I'm from the linoleum tune. Can you name it? My money's on you can. Are you from Kirkcaldy? <laughs> you used to be able to smell it, the lang tune. So there we are. So Scotland was a vicious partner in Britain's empire. Do you agree? I don't know what you mean by the term vicious. Scotland ran the empire for England. By the way, how are you? Thank you, Igloo. So kind of you. Chris says you're going to be voting SNP. You never, ever ask anybody how they're going to be voting, Chris. Uh, so there you are. Is that your face on the button? Yes, then it's there. Scotty McClue. And we've got another one here just for you. What about that? See, 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 see. How wonderful is that? Which time I wasn't here, guys. So there we are. I've done so many jobs. I'm a broadcaster, television and radio. What are your pronouns? You never ask any of the pronouns. 100% right, Scotty. Last stop, Scotty. Change your advert key then. 
Ken, uh, Scotland should not be independent. So there, because Nicholas Sturge, Nicholas Sturgeon has been running a superb country for twelve years, Carl. So you need to grow up. Well, no, it's not not as long as that. Is it? Seven years or where? Yeah, she's been running it for seven years. So there we are. Are you a Wraith Rovers fan? Oh, see the times I've danced in the streets of Wraith over a win. Fantastic. Right, what is the time? It's almost time I wasn't here. There we are. We need to press on, but probably be popping up later, guys. Uh, have you all followed me, by the way? I could do with some followers. We've got hundreds of thousands of viewers, but only a few hundred followers. Incredible. There we go. So please follow me. If you're watching right now, just follow, follow, follow. I'll have a... What do you think of the Queensferry Crossing? I love it, Jack. I'll have a wee sip of water while you're all following us, guys. Not dancing very often then on the streets of Wraith. Well, I haven't danced for a while. <laughs> Hello, Dick, you know, from Norwich. We love you in Norfolk. I listened to you many moons ago on the radio. You did, Arlene. Uh, so there we go. Did you hear about the magic farmer? He turned his tractor into a field. <laughs> we love it. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. Guys, can everybody follow me, please? I need followers. So, you know, just get following. Good day from Australia. Good day, Ryan. Have you followed me and added my Instagram, Scotty McClue one Have you gone on and subscribed to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? That would be appreciated. Very, very important. Très important. There we are. Right. It's time I was away. Please get following. Let's, if another, who, many more followers would just make my day. Yeah, we've got a very small amount of followers, guys. We've uh, got 6,470. That should be 60,000. I listened to you in jail, Scotty. Stephen, thank you very much. Has everybody followed us? Ryan, good day. Which part of Australia are you from, Cobba? Fair dinkum, I say, and dinky do. Tell everybody about this wonderful stream. They'll share it and share it and share it. Very much important. Right, so if you can follow me, that would be great. Who have we got? Yes, I'd like another 29 followers, please. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. Thank you, Ryan. Ayrshire Scotty. Ah, you're an Ayrshire man. Absolutely. Is that your Ayrshire bacon? Fantastic. Callum. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Callum. Lovely to have you with us. Callum, have you followed me, please? We're needing some followers. I'll tell everyone Scotty doesn't know basic history politics. Nancy, remember, you've got an IQ of one. You don't know anyone. So you telling everyone uh, is like maybe a wean shouting out a windy, you know, that sort of idea. <laughs> Tell all your friends, Nancy, you know, I'm sure another person would like to know. Uh, sure is, my man, you are class. <laughs> How do you do, Scotty McClue? Shrill. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome to our pop-up live. What do you think of dross? Well, it was very, very good for keeping the fire in, Alan. Or you could get, uh, you know, the dross and mix it up with a little bit of cement dust and make a briquette. You had a mold for briquettes, you know, very good for that. So I would strongly recommend it. Absolutely. You know, if you can get hold of some dross. What do you like to do in your spare time? I don't have any spare time, Phil. I work all the time. So there we are. Really good to see you in person. Thank you, Stephen. Very much appreciated. We're full of knowledge on here, and we will give it to you. There we are. Now then, Alan, that's a wee bit over the top, you know, depending. <laughs> oh, no hobbies. Oh, lots of hobbies, Shrill. That's why I don't have any time. You said spare time. I use it for my hobbies. There we are. 
Um, now, anybody got a, a solution? So there's somebody on here looking for something. Solution to what? Work sponge off England. Is that what you do, Nancy? Wow. Nancy sponges and doesn't work, guys. So there you are. So there you go. How amazing. Do you get the universal credit, Nancy? Um, do tell us. Oh, says Shrill Waffle. Absolutely. Nancy, boy, what's your problem, says Shrill Waffle? Quite right, Shrill. Can you sort her out? Daft as a brush with knee heed. Uh, what happened to you on the radio? I moved to another company, Stephen. Uh, plus, can I add that not everyone on benefits doesn't work. So there you are. So are you on benefits and uh, and working as well, Nancy? Tut, tut, tutity, tut. So there we go. Uh, yes, we've got a solution to your itching problem, just you. What we'll do is we'll give you a lifetime ban, and I think you'll find you'll stop itching. How about that? <laughs> lifetime ban for a person with some itchy bits and pieces. There we go. Excellent. That's what we need. That gets rid of the wee trolls. Dinky do, says Charlie. Dinky do, Charlie. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. So some people's income's a top-up payment. Ah, if they're low income. Yes, of course it is. I understand that. I do know how the system works. <laughs> Thine be the glory for Good Friday. And uh, thank you so much for watching us. Tremendous. There we are. Good to have you with us. And dinky do. This is Scotty McClue saying thank you for watching. Thank you for being such a brilliant, brilliant audience live here on TikTok. Do follow me. Go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's 1,270 videos for you to enjoy for your education, edification, and delight. Nancy, you would definitely benefit from a wee bit of education. And uh, I'll probably pop up later, guys. Catch you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. You're looking beautiful. Thank you so much. Bless you all. And as we say in the best of circles, dinky doo. And ta-ra, Bye, everybody. Bye, Scully. Thank you.